to win. Just keep moving. <laughs> this is it? Yeah, this is it. Come on. <laughs> May I ask why we're doing this? I, I want to see what I'm up against. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Hi there. Hi. Jim Connolly. Hi. My name's Charles Richardson, and this is my friend, uh, Sam McGuire. We were interested in an A-frame. Great. We built 40 different models. We modify or customize to suit your lifestyle. I thought they, uh, came to a point. Well, Max appears to be a nice, dull guy. But then I'm a nice, dull well, guy. about the A-frame. You know, you lose a lot of headroom upstairs. Oh, we want a lot of headroom. <laughs> my wife and I live in one, though. Oh, you're married? Uh-huh. Oh. Mind if I smoke? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. What do you guys do? I'm a civil servant. Oh, unemployed jacket salesman. I see. Uh, listen, I'll be glad to show you around. I want you to know right She has a choice between an oversized, nice, dull guy or a medium-sized, nice, dull guy. Now, you option that out, pay the sales tax. Poor Valora. Down here, and you're looking at $45,000. Are you insulting us? Hey, not at all. Why don't I show you around? Greg, come on, Joe. Now, you'll see that the kitchen is directly related to the living area. Oh, that's good. Uh-huh. Now, the walls are solid cedar. Yeah. Beams are Douglas fir. Mm -hmm. Ceiling is hemlock or oh, spruce. You can isn't this way. the same room? As a matter of fact, it is. Where are you living now, Charlie? I, uh, I live on Kenmore Road, Jimmy. Yeah, that's a nice street. You renting or what? No, I own my own house. Oh. How about you, Sam? Oh, I live with Charlie. Of course. Sorry? Why? Does it look odd, our living together? I don't think it's anybody's business. No trouble. If you want to see a traditional A-frame, I'll be glad to show you mine. It's about ten minutes from here. If you want to follow be me. glad to, sure. <clears throat> hey, uh... Don't I recognize that headlight somewhere? Did you, uh... bump into a tree recently? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was... Uh... That was you. Yeah, <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. then. All right, all right, good. We'll follow you. Laura? Yeah, I'm here. We have company, babe. Remember that time the guy ran into the tree out in front? Well, here he is. Let me take a coat. They're overlooking an A-frame. I kept thinking... Gee, this guy looks familiar. I just couldn't place him. Uh, she must have something on the stove. Make yourselves comfortable. I'll see what's going on. Calls her babe. She noticed. They're only gonna have a couple of drinks. I'm trying to be a little friendlier. They're very touchy. They're gay. They're what? Bring in some potato chips and pretzels and stuff. They're real interested in the A-frame. She bring some goodies in. Well, I wish you guys had been here last week. She made pate. You ever had homemade pate? Yes. Charlie, why don't you go help Mrs. Connolly? He's fantastic in the kitchen. No, no, no. Go on. No, I don't go want ahead. He's shy. Like go it. ahead. No. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Answer me one question, huh? Are you happy? <laughs> I guess I have my answer. I don't deserve to be happy. How can you say that? Shh, fix the eyes. Does he know about us? No. Where does he think you were for two months last winter? With friends. I told him I stayed with friends, and he just accepted me the way he is. Christ. Well, that would make you account for every minute, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, see, the lumber is measured in Washington. Uh huh. Right over here, Charlie. Yeah, what are you guys gonna have? Scotch rocks all around? Fine. Doubles? I'm having a double. I'll keep you company. On second thought, I'd rather have a coat if you have one. Sure. I'd like to keep my wits about me. That's right. We can't have you bumping into any more trees, can we? <laughs> hey, babe. Where's Rebecca? Hang up the street. Ah, oh, too bad. 
You guys are going to miss her. Yeah, maybe next time. Here we go. Cheers. Well, here we are. I read an article in the paper the other day. Want to hear about it? About some doctor in some South American country somewhere who uh, pulled a woman's eyes out of the sockets, picked off all the tumors, cleaned them up, put the eyes back in again. Ugh. It's sickening. Did it cure her migraines? Mm-hmm. And her double vision. Ah, uh, I get it. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I wish I was, actually. You're right, it is disgusting. But it was some time ago. It was in the same paper that some representative of Frank Zappa was quoted as saying that Frank Zappa had not had a bowel movement on stage. You can learn all kinds of interesting tidbits by reading the paper. For example, did you know that if you take yogurt and you spread it on your nipples, it makes them pink? I didn't know that. Let's pick up some yogurt on the way home. Right. Now you're talking. <laughs> I love Laura. What? You heard me. I love your wife. I love Laura. Hey, you show very good taste. It's not a joke. Not Charles. It's not a joke. Come on, Charles. I think you'd better leave now, pal. I love Laura. I love her. Yeah, come on, Charles. Oh, just, just kidding. We're just I talking. love Laura. Get him out of here. Wait a I was invited. I know you. I, I love Laura. I want to marry her. I want to marry her. Creeps. Bye. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty good in there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. That's a car. <laughs> no, I can't say I didn't warn him. Right. That's a car. <laughs> Hannah, you're going to be suffering when you come down. <laughs> Women don't like me anymore. I don't understand it. Sam. I didn't blow it in there with Laura, did I? I wouldn't say you uh, blew it, no. Right. After what I did, she's got to know that I love her, right? Whatever doubts she had are definitely cleared up. Yeah. Hmm. He'll call me. Hi, Mom. Are you getting married? I... Why would you ask that? I'm going to sleep. No, I'm not getting married. How do you feel? I'm not dead. I'm glad. Young people don't want to get married anymore. Do you remember your dad? Of course I remember him. He had a heart attack on a bus when, when he was 39. I know. And look at me. I'm I'm not dead yet. That's good. I want you to live a nice, long life. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. You're as good looking as your dad was. Thank you, Mother. Have you still got a job? Mm-hmm. Well, then, then why can't you find a girl? <laughs> I don't know. I'm working on it, though. The weeks go by, Laura still hasn't called. Sam? Sam mm. Yeah. I feel crummy. Mm. I got drunk last night. I started thinking about Laura and how stupidly yeah. I acted when I didn't mm -hmm. get any sleep. 
Why don't you, why don't you call in sick? I, I don't want to do that. What I want you to do is I want you to go to the grocery store, I want you to buy the groceries, and then I want you to fix the dinner. Okay? Okay. I left $20 on the kitchen table. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about anything. Okay. Okay. Good. Bam. Mm, okay. How do you feel about Ramaki? What? Ramaki. Oh, water chestnuts wrapped in bacon. Now, I know we're planning some dips, but I thought we might also have a selection of hot hors d'oeuvres. Listen, um, I had a bad night last night. I didn't get a lot of sleep, and I don't feel like talking about hors d'oeuvres and dips right now, if you don't mind. Okay, then. Shall I come in later? <sighs> no. Charles, I've been looking for you since nine. I was late today, sir. Oh, uh, special reason? Yes, sir, because I, I didn't get here on time. Oh, sure. Well, I see. I just wanted to say that the kid is doing better. Janice Joplin and all. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't. Uh -huh. Sir. I don't feel that your son's sexual problems are any of my business. And I don't want to hear about him anymore. Got a point there, Charles. Integrity, that's, that's the ticket. Well, I'll let you get back to work. You uh, want this shot? Please. 